With just a few days left till the Pride Parade, one Bay Area woman is spreading the stories of LGBTQ leaders who made lasting changes on the movement. KPX 5's Jackie Ward shows us the unique way she's reaching the younger generation in tonight's original report. We have a thousand books in my living room. Robin Lowy is on a mission. Her dining room table is stacked with copies of her new book, Game Changers, Lesbians You Should Know About. I got the idea that I should be the one to create this fun book about lesbian heroes that are living, um, who created queer culture now, and they're sort of the people that young people today should consider as their heroes. Yay, we have an assembly line. She's recruiting close friends to help pack and ship it. Every county in the San Francisco Bay Area, Santa Clara, Sonoma, Napa. To public high schools in the Bay Area for free. So far, Robbins donated around 1,500 copies to over 300 schools, reaching 30,000 students. I just figured why not? I don't know anyone who's ever done anything quite like this, and I don't know where it came from, but it just kind of sprung out of me, and I've just been enjoying the ride. A graphic designer by trade, Robin created Game Changers to look and read like a graphic novel, one that showcases the crucial role lesbians have played in the LGBTQ movement. 30 women, including Robin herself, leap off its colorful pages like, well, superheroines. The criteria is that they're alive and that they're over 50 and that they came out young and that they created significant cultural contributions to queer culture specifically. If you weren't a mom, would you have done this? Probably not. I mean, it's all a part of my whole life. Robin's own journey as a lesbian mom of two sons and her role as a guest educator on LGBTQ history for several Marin County public schools inspired the book as a way to educate others. The kids, they ask questions that are startling to me, like I'll say a simple fact, like the, the right for same-sex marriage was passed nationally in 2015 and like a hand will shoot up and they'll say, wait, I, I didn't uh, know that. Do you want to sign our mailing list? Making sure every generation hears these her stories is Robin's passion. So her classroom has expanded to include lesbian bars like Jolene's in San Francisco. I just want to welcome all of my sisters to the stage. And political hotspots like Manny's in the Mission, where those profiled in the book speak openly about their own journey. I was really looking for people like me. I was looking to build community. I was trying to find um, a space that I felt comfortable in. Crystal Jang says writing her essay for the book brought back memories of fun times in 1960s San Francisco. I became a member of the Rebels, a lesbian gang. We drove around in a Rambler sedan, uh, smoked cigarettes, and, were, and wore black puff jackets. But the retired teacher is quick to point out, we still have a long way to go in both education and acceptance. When you talk about progress. We've come a long ways in terms of being visible, but we still are in the same sort of spot in terms of being understood. Oh, this is such a fun thing to be doing. Which is why Robin and her friends will not stop until every book here has been signed, sealed, and delivered. So that's my mission and it's, it's happening. It's really exciting. In Marin County, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. Now, the women profiled in the book include military personnel, legal experts, artists, and educators. Robin says she has many others to profile, and she is working on plans for a second edition. And don't forget, the Pride Parade starts at 1030 Sunday morning. We'll have an exclusive live stream of the event at KPIX.com.